so uh, you know, the first thing that you do, um, or I do anyway, when, when I think about arranging a tune, is obviously to pick a tune. Um, that's well, that's after like deciding to do an arrangement. Um, and so, so I, I thought of this tune. I kind of love this tune. There's not much point in arranging a tune you don't love, in my opinion. Um, people might disagree, like people who want to be satirical in their arranging, um, which can be great fun. Uh, it has to be said. But for me, I, the, all the songs I've arranged are songs I kind of grew up with and really love dearly. Um, and this one is, is no exception. Uh, so, you know, I kind of I thought about a tune that would have a whole bunch of stuff in it that would be possible to be flexible with. Um, this tune is kind of repetitive, you know, which means that, that there's, there's things you can do um, over a period of time that will grow and and be a thing. I think if you start with a melody which is already blowing your mind, um, and that doesn't mean it's not good. It just means it's you know it's like you, you need to start with a melody that's um, that has clarity because then then you're going to swing some crazy shit underneath it and it needs to hold together. And you, and I think the best melodies will do this. Um, and so this is a this is a good one. This is a great melody. Uh, so I, I I mean the way I did this. Okay, the first the first thing I did arranging this. I was e I was in my I was in my my back room in my house. Um, I was eating some like beans on toast because that's quite a British thing to do, as I as I understand it. But uh, there I was, and uh, one thing that tends to happen sometimes uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, you you know when you get flooded with with creative ideas and energy um, out of the blue, I had this situation occur in um, in 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 the um, in the beans on toast room, and I, I'd already decided to do this song. Um, I got my iPhone device out. And uh, opened up the voice memo application, and um, and I set about recording a bunch of ideas um, for this video. And what I did is I kind of I went into the garden, and I walked around in circles for a bit. I find it easy to I find it cool to kind of pace around. I don't know about about you, but um, I, I I recorded a bunch of stuff. Like I had grooves, I had voice like um, kind of specific voicings. I wanted to get in little backing figures and. And um, and structural ideas, even video ideas, I just kind of described it in a kind of in, in an excited tone to my mob, to my mobile phone. When this was done, I, I got it all into Logic. This is Logic, by the way. Um, and uh, and and I, I cut up the I cut up my my voice memo file and I kind of drag and dropped the the um the, the all the different segments into into different um, sections. So I made a track for verse one, verse two, verse three, melodic solo accompaniment, funky section, introduction, ending miscellaneous, uh, and then I just kind of um, worked out what I had already and I, just, I filled in the gaps, you know. Um, it's very important to pace an arrangement, as I'm sure you might guess, because too much at once is too much at once. Uh, you can't take it all in um, at one time. And that still means it can be crazy, but I, you know, you obviously you need to think about the order in which your ideas come. So most of the ideas I had in this excitable moment um, went into the verse three bit, because they were all crazy. Um, and then it's a, it's a matter of filling in the blanks. Um, when I did the, you see, I tell you what, um, I forgot to install Sibelius on this computer before I left home, and so I can't show you the score, <laughs> which just, which just sucks, you know. But uh, you know, but I can show you all of the, I can show you all the, all the audio files. So the first thing I do, as you can see from this uh, preview here, is uh, is to arrange the the track, the, the uh, many of the acapella voices, uh, as you can see up here. Um, most of, oh shoot, it really works. That's crazy, man. Okay, nice. So, um, all right. So I make myself a canvas, um, and I, 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 hey, yeah. I, I, I said about arranging this thing. So, um, first thing to do is you, you, you get your melody out there, and bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, so actually, um, as far as the six faces thing is concerned, it, it's not always six faces um, files. Um, it, it can be more or less. This is this is a luxury that comes with uh, with working at home on your own, because um, I do I do this all by myself. Um, you can sort of you know once once you get the track sorted out, the video kind of comes comes after that. So the first thing to do is to arrange and to record, and after this you get the video. I actually use my I use my sister's iPad for filming, um, much to her dismay. I sort of uh, grab it out of her room and, and set it up in the loft upstairs. But before that even happens, um, I arrange this thing. Um, once the arrangement is complete, I normally start with the bass part, just because the bass part is kind of like the soil for your uh, orchard. And I, I can play a bit of that right now. Is, it, is this like plugged into the... Nice, okay. 
uh, I, had, I, had, I had a section that I, um, I, I thought about looping for you. Oh, how I long to be, to be the man that I used to be. Oh, All right, I'm, I'm going to loop this section. Um, I can even find it on the uh, on the actual music. Hey.